All right, here we are with some some Street Fighter Six, playing some good old Jamie. Um, Jamie was my favorite character in the last beta, but unfortunately in this beta he was my least played character. Just because, like, you know, I I, I took interest in Ken and I started playing Ken, and yeah. So Ken was the priority of this beta, and. He was supposed to be the priority last beta, but I didn't really like him last beta. But now I, uh, I like Ken a lot. And I still like Jamie. Um, unfortunately though, Jamie is just such a, like, he has so much that it's very hard to just start playing Jamie and just be as good as you were, uh, when you left off in the last beta. Yeah, he has so much stuff that it was just, I mean, he was easily the hardest character to get reacquainted with again. Um, he took, he took, he takes a lot of effort, um, but just cause he takes, he takes a lot of effort to be good with, right? And Ken takes a lot of effort to be good with. The only difference is I feel that, um, Jamie is better than Ken, right? And I feel like the effort with Jamie is worth it more than the effort with Ken. Yeah, he just feels top tier. Uh, he, he feels pristine, you know, he got that, he got the, he got everything he needs, he got every tool he needs. And then for some reason, to add it on top, Jamie can just OTG people. Like, I don't know why, like Ryu can OTG people with one specific move, I believe. Jamie, Jamie, like, you, you can o OTG a lot with this character, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I, I don't think I do it in these videos because it is. I think it's unoptimal. I think. I think it's unoptimal. If I'm not mistaken, I, I think it's pretty unoptimal to to do the OTGs. But he has them. He has them like he has a lot of moves that OTG. It's weird. Um, it's definitely random because no other character can do it besides Ryu, but he can only do it like very, very rarely. I don't know. I, I always thought that was really strange about the. Yeah, and I got hit by that twice. I thought that was tragic. Um, Luke was Luke was really hard to 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 get used to because I don't I didn't play uh, Street Fighter Five that much, so. Uh, when Luke came out, I mean, I, I uploaded videos on him when he came out. Um, I did play him, but like, you know, I wasn't like a tryhard at Street Fighter V, so um, I never really got uh, used to fighting him, and also I was playing him, so yeah. Uh, and he was kind of rare this beta, so he, he, he's a goofball, but I felt like he was better. I don't even, I don't even know if anything changed, for us all. I don't know if anything changed. But I felt like he was better in this beta than the last beta. I don't know. I, I was just getting... I was getting pieced up more by Luke. And in the last beta, mo most Luke players were free. Wasn't much of a challenge. Um, yeah, and that kept dropping. Crouching Heavy Punch into that DX move. I don't know why. No, no reason for it to drop there, but it did. But yeah, uh, kind of weird that Luke got outshined in his own game. Because uh, I think, uh, so far, Kimberly and Jamie are both way more interesting than Luke is. And there's me trying to OTG, but I completely did the wrong move to put him in the OTG state. Um, like I said, it's really hard to get acquainted, reacquainted with Jamie. Um, he was easily the hardest character in the beta to relearn uh, after coming back to the game for not playing it for two months. Uh, you know, Ryu was really easy to pick up. Even Ken was a little easier to pick up than Jamie. Because Jamie just has so much stuff. Jamie has so many things to remember. And if you know it all, then he's really good. It's just that it's really hard to... Because I, I didn't have any training, I just went straight back into 
until rank, and he started doing what I remember. But yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say about him. He's pretty... He, he's, I, I feel like he's the same as he was, and I, and I still think he's good. But um, yesterday there was uh, some DNF duel news. Uh, and you know, I really contemplated me playing... Uh, I, I contemplated actually going back and playing the game. But I don't know. Like, because I know I have a video scheduled to go up where I literally talk about DNF Duel. Um, but it, it's going to go up and like, actually it should already be up by the time. So yeah, when I say the DNF patch came out yesterday, that shows you how pre-recorded this is. Um, because it came out yesterday for me, but this video is probably not going up for like a week and a half or something. I don't know. Maybe a week. So, yeah, the, the DNF dual patch did come out, and I did see some people playing it, and it was cool. But I think the thing that really, really was disheartening for me, that they showed the new character, right, and they announced that she's coming out next year, right? So, yes, an even longer wait. But she's coming out with a season pass. And, you know, that doesn't sit well with me. That just doesn't really sit well with me. Because, um, you know, the game was lackluster, right? The game is incredibly lackluster, and then they just come out with a season pass for a game that, you know, is lacking. And I really wish games would stop doing this nowadays. Especially fighting games, because fighting games are so small and it's so hard to get people into them. But why? I don't understand why, right? Because Melty Blood did it right. Melty Blood added eight characters, like five stages, uh, and, a, and a boss rush mode for free. But DNF Duel launches with like five stages and like... 15 characters or something and they're making you pay for extra characters yeah man um may maybe i'll talk about it fully in a different video but i just i i don't i you know what i might talk about it in the next video i'll save it for the next video i'll make the whole video about it I'll just have some Street Fighter 6 gameplay up in the background and, uh, and I'll talk about it. Because obviously DNF Duel is an important um, game to my channel. So I would like to say what I'm going to do with it. Because it's just... Uh, I would be a hypocrite to continue playing. That's all I will say. Uh, I think so tomorrow's video, the video after this one, you will see, uh, I'll, I'll, make, I'll, I'll talk about it for like 10 to 15 minutes straight and just, just say everything I gotta say about it because I, I, I feel a little, in, I've always felt a little insulted by DNF Duel, personally. Um, yeah, but the one problem is because this is pre-recorded, I wish. I can make it go up sooner, right? Because I'm gonna have a, a I'm gonna have this DNF Duel video go up tomorrow from when you're seeing this. But in reality, it's gonna be about a week and a half late from the actual DNF Duel announcement. But I do just want to have it on my channel just to uh, just just so everyone knows, right? Just just, just in case people are wondering, because most of my subs come from DNF Duel, so I just want to have it up there just for the one time so yeah um bit of a weird video um uh, i don't i don't really have much else to say about jamie that's why i didn't record too many jamie videos because i don't really i don't really know what to say about him um i think he's really like you know in the ken videos i was talking about is ken bad you know and i was talking about you know is guile too good you know stuff like that but with jamie i feel like he's just in the right spot there's nothing to say about him. I feel like he's just perfect. Which is good, right? I have no 
I have nothing good to add on about him, and I have nothing to complain about, because everything he does makes sense, and he doesn't feel way too broken, but he does feel, uh, at least for beta standards, he feels top tier, right? Um, anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have that DNF duel video tomorrow, probably. So yeah, um, you know, like, subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna let the rest of this match play out. Uh, it's not that much longer. It's like less than a minute or something. So yeah, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Make all of these diamonds. I tell them get back, step back, fast track, big lap, big facts. I'm past that. Yeah, I'm trying to get ahead, get out the way. Now move forward, stand back, now break away. I'm about to bring it on. I'm not looking back.